Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, Power Max Pressure Faults for Systems Over 50 Amps. This video will help you to identify the 012 low input gas pressure warning and the 020 low gas pressure fault for the Power Max 65, 85, 105, and 125 models. For these PowerMax models, the symptoms of a low pressure warning can include poor cut quality, slower cutting speed, or the arc misfiring. If these symptoms occur, start by checking the system's front panel display for the 012 fault code and icon. The 012 fault code is a warning signaling that there is low input gas or an unstable gas pressure condition. Please note that the system will continue to operate with a 012 fault code since it serves as a warning, not a fault condition. To correct the 012 fault code, begin by checking the pressure gauge at the gas source to verify the output setting is correct. Reference your hypertherm operator's manual for the correct pressure setting. If you find that the incoming gas pressure is too low, increase the pressure to the acceptable range while gas is flowing dynamically. Dynamic pressure refers to the gas pressure that is flowing through the system. A dynamic pressure is needed to obtain accurate input gas pressure to supply the system. To set the incoming gas pressure properly, you must access the service screen and put the system into the gas test mode. To access the service screen, move to the front of the unit and push and hold down the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector and current gas selector buttons for two seconds. Once in the service screen, located in the top left corner, you will find a blinking cursor. Move the cursor through the service screen by pressing the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector or the current gas selector buttons. Move the cursor so that it sits between the G and zero on the second row. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise. The G0 will turn into a G1, and gas should start flowing from the torch. Once gas is flowing, check the pressure setting at the gas source and adjust if needed. When the gas pressure is within the operating range, the gas pressure fault and icon will clear and the torch will continue to operate. With the 020 low gas pressure fault, typical symptoms will include the torch not firing and the fault code with icon will be displayed on the status screen. Like the 012 fault, start by checking the pressure gauge setting at the gas source while gas is flowing dynamically. If input pressure from the gas source is correct, the output gas pressure can be located in the service screen. Set and actual pressure values are highlighted in red. The set pressure value is to the left and is known as the static pressure. This is the reading when gas is not flowing through the system. To check the dynamic output pressure of the system in the service screen, move the cursor by pressing the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector or the current gas selector buttons. Move the cursor so that it sits between the G and zero on the second row. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise. The G0 will turn into a G1, and gas should start flowing from the torch. The dynamic output pressure reading should be within 1 to 2 PSI of the set point pressure. If the pressure is more than a 2 PSI difference from the set point pressure, check for kinks, leaks, or restrictions in the inlet gas line. If no leaks or kinks can be found with the inlet gas line, the air filter element will need to be inspected. Turn the power off, disconnect the power, and remove the gas supply line. Due to a manufacturing change, the PowerMax unit may have one of the two air filter bowl models shown. Both filter bowls use the same air filter element, but the O-rings and bowls are not interchangeable between the models. For more information on the removal of your PowerMax bowl, check your hypertherm manual. Inspect the filter for oil or other debris that may cause restrictions in gas flow. If the element is dirty, replace it with a new hypertherm air filter. For both bowl types, wipe away any oil or other contaminants that might have collected inside the filter bowl. Also examine the O-ring at the top of the filter bowl for cracks or tears and replace if needed. Reconnect the gas supply and power, then turn the machine on. This should clear the 020 fault code and icon.
If the 012 or 020 fault codes persist, then contact your hypertherm distributor or authorized repair facility for assistance. This concludes our video, PowerMax Pressure Faults for Systems Over 50 Amps.